What's up everybody? Back from my Minnesota trip. Oh, it was exhausting. Two weeks, brewery tours every single day, sometimes three a day. Visiting everybody that we've connected with while doing my podcast, The Soda Pod. Check it out in the description below. Reminder though, we are back three videos a week minimum. Really excited to tee this one up. Ton of vlogs coming soon from the Minnesota trip, from a bunch of stuff we filmed prior to my vacation in the beginning of April, as well as a bunch of new music videos, cover songs planned. The channel is absolutely buzzing. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe today, like this video. Let's freaking go. Help us get to 100 subs. What's up you guys? Just wanted to show you something super cool came in the mail yesterday. So now our new camera can use any one of my Nikon lenses even though it's a Canon. So this little thing here is a Canon to Nikon adapter so I'll show you how it works. Okay, so I don't know if you guys have seen this, but this is the C100 camera. You should just bought this the other day so that we can start filming music videos and doing a bunch of other stuff. Super cool camera, it's a cinema camera. So you've got operation controls here, you got some controls on the front of the camera here, you got a whole bunch of cool stuff, LCD screen flips out, super cool camera. But we only have one Canon lens. Well, I was thinking to myself, what the hell am I doing? We can order one of these rings so that I can adapt to all of my other stuff. So, check it out. I got my 70 to 300 telescopic lens. This is old, it came from my D90, but it will work for this. So, essentially what you do, you take off the cap, put it on, on the Nikon side. Put it together, right? Okay. Boom, and it just clicks. Now we can use 70 to 300 on there. Also have a Nikon 50, 18 to 105. It's also a telescopic lens. And Sigma wide angle as well. So all of these will work super cool for the music videos. So there will be tons of new content for you guys to check out. I'll show you what it all looks like with these new lens adapters. Hello everybody, we're the City Life Project. We're gonna play a little original for you guys. Hope you like it.
some of you guys might know that I live in like a fifth wheel trailer on Vancouver Island. My wife and I are saving up for a house, but we might be moving into a tiny house at some point. That's kind of what we're looking at doing. Tiny houses are super cool. There's some pretty rad things about them. They're affordable, you can move them anywhere, all sorts of stuff. And living in a trailer really hasn't been that bad. You can see we got kind of a nice trailer. We painted a bunch of stuff in here, made it look all nice. I got my TV. I'm not gonna show you the bedroom right now because I haven't made the bed. What I am gonna show you is how I set up our little demo station. Mini studio, pop-up studio, if you wanna call it that. Um, so I'm just gonna walk you through how I do that and what we do when we're recording. So come along for the ride. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what we use for gear. Typically speaking, I use a MacBook Pro from 2013, I think it's pretty old. So we use Logic, we throw it on there. That's super, super easy. Then, ignore my mouse, we have this little Presonus audio interface, which works just perfectly for inside the studio. We have the Tube MP Studio microphone preamp. This guy is actually super cool, I got it for 50 bucks. I don't even think I got it for 50 bucks, it might have been 25 bucks, but super rad dude, it's got this little VU meter, we set that guy up, and you want to do vocals, acoustic guitars, all sorts of stuff, it's a pretty neat little unit. A couple of microphones that we use from time to time, one of which being the Aston Spirit, which I love this microphone, it's about 500 bucks, but it's super cool looking and all made from recycled, refurbished material, but it sounds fantastic. If you are ever looking for a cool little microphone to put into your studio, this guy is super, super rad. So those are the main things that we use, but I also have a Spark by Blue, which is a pretty cool microphone. I actually just bought this off of Isha recently. So this is the Spark. Super cool little unit. I actually haven't even used it yet, but it's a nice little microphone. I've heard that this sounds quite good on female vocals, probably will sound good on acoustic guitars, might even sound good on my vocals. This thing might come in handy, it comes with that super fancy box with the nice foam liner, comes with an orange cord to match with it, and comes with the uh, shock mount. It is supposed to have a pop filter too, but that didn't come with it. So, without any further ado, I'm going to just mount you guys and you can watch me set up. Bam! So that's my little setup. Basically, this is what it looks like when I'm recording. So I set it up just like this for an acoustic guitar. What I've done in my setup is I go microphone, into the preamp, preamp into the interface, interface into the computer. Now I can record an acoustic guitar. That's what we typically do and anytime that I'm singing vocals I've got this great little vocal booth over here which is our coat hanger. I just set up the microphone right over here and I sing into the coats and it dampens the noise and it actually surprisingly sounds pretty good in here because there's a lot of contours, there's a lot of angles and stuff like that so the sound doesn't just bounce off in simple directions, it actually has some things that dampen it in here so some of the demos that I've come up with have sounded really fantastic actually, uh, especially after EQing and we're going to continue doing that until I have the actual studio space where we can set up a new desk, the new interface, our MPA2, our VLA2, we've got all sorts of gear that we are itching to get using for the new City Life album. So let's stick around, head and subscribe to our channel. Make sure to click the notification bell because if you do that then you'll get notified every time we have a new video. Typically we have a new video every Friday and we're trying to post three videos a week. So our channel is full of content for you to watch including some of my music with Trench Fingers, Silent Army and soon to be my newest album from Mudge. So go ahead and make sure you subscribe and we will see you next week.